everybody welcome back to my channel it is your girl Nicole Jackson and I'm so excited to give you this helpful video today I get so many questions about how I cut my Yeezys and I not only keep some but I resell so I thought I would make this video to make it very simple and clear how you can get Yeezys in 2020 it's very easy but I'm gonna give you guys some keys and tips on how you can get Yeezys in your closet but first before we start make sure you go ahead and subscribe right down at the bottom if you are new to this channel I am Nicole Jackson. I do a lot of urban style hair and beauty. So if you are feeling that vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Also, if you are loving the content from this video, make sure you like and comment too. Let me know what pair of Yeezys you have and which ones you want to get in the near future. So before we start, I want to go ahead and lay out what Yeezys I have. I have the Desert Boots in the tan. I have the All Black 500s and I have two pair of the 350s. I have the Triple Whites and the All Black. Those are the Yeezys that I have. I was able to purchase the Zebra ones and resell those and I was um, able to purchase another pair of Yeezys. I can't remember. It's been a while but right now I'm not in the market in buying any more Yeezys but I would love to tell you guys how I scored mines and um, if I do end up getting more Yeezys it's going to be just a flip and you know resell them to other people so I thought I would make this video as to if you're interested in getting them in your closet or flipping them like me how you can do that. all right to start this off the first thing you need to know is basic Yeezy drop information right you need to know when it's released how it's released right okay so Yeezys are always dropped on Saturdays for Adidas at 9 a.m. and for Yeezys at 10 a.m. right so there's a couple of places where you can get Yeezy shoes from you can get them from Adidas um, which is the Adidas app or the Adidas website um, you can get them from the Yeezy website too you can get them from online sites and you can get them from actual retail locations. So there are a couple ways that you can get Yeezys even though it's basically really hard to get Yeezys and it's a little bit easier now but in the past it's been extremely hard just with the limited quantity that they're giving out. Um, but there are a couple of locations that you can get Yeezys. Alright, so if you're interested in getting Yeezys and now you know the basic information, there are a couple of sites that you should follow just to know what Yeezys are coming out on which days, right? I follow a lot of those sites on Instagram. There are some websites, but because everyone is mostly on Instagram, it's just easier to follow those sites that as you're scrolling, it'll pop right up. Or you can also get a notification when they post and you'll know as soon as possible when they're dropping the Yeezys. So here are the couple of uh, Instagram sites that I like to follow that always um, drop the Yeezy, the new Yeezys that are coming out. So that is Yeezy Mafia. Yeezy Season 2, Sneaker News, Sneaker Politics, High Snobiety Sneakers. Also, if you haven't, a great way to know about the Yeezy drops are if you're subscribed to Adidas and Yeezy newsletters. Anytime they have a drop, they'll send you an email letting you know which sneaker is coming out and the drop date, also what sizes they have, and if they're offered in kids' sizes too. So it's important too, if you miss it on Instagram, to go ahead and subscribe to their newsletters so you can get Yeezy drops there. Alright, so now you know the basic Yeezy information, you know when they're dropping, how they're dropping, and some sites to follow to figure out the styles that are dropping. Here's the information you need on a Yeezy drop day. The first thing, do not use Internet Safari. It is something about Internet Safari when it comes to drop. I think just the server is not really reliable. Your best chance at getting Yeezy shoes are to use Google Chrome. Google Chrome, if you don't use it, period, you should just use it because it's also like very much stronger than Internet Safari. So I would recommend that if you're trying to get Yeezys, make sure you are using all Google Chrome Internet servers. All right, so there's a couple ways that you can cop Yeezys on a drop day. A lot of people use bots in different servers to do that. I technically have never used a bot or a server. Just for me, I don't want to pay for, you know, that first investment piece then have to pay for Yeezys again. Just for me, I would like to go ahead and try to see if I could win them. And then if I don't, I don't. But for me, there are some helpful tips that have won me Yeezys over just going the regular bot and server way. If that is what you want to do to make sure you secure that bag, by all means, go ahead and do the service and bought because some of those are a guaranteed win. But for me, I just don't recommend doing that because it's always a risk. 
So the ways that I've been able to score my Yeezys, believe it or not, the Adidas app. The Adidas app has been super, super helpful with me with getting Yeezys. I don't know what it is. I think because they have increased the quantity and they're, you know, I just, my, my luck there has just been amazing. But the Adidas app, I have been able to win Yeezys off of there every time I put in an entry. So this is the newer way to do the adidas app in the past it's just been the adidas online website and it's been the yeezy website i've scored my triple whites off of the yeezy website but i think that was when they did their largest uh quantity of yeezy releases but i've also scored um when yeezy did that when you know kanye did that big drop sometime i think like over the summer last year where he did like all these yeezys in one day I was able to score a lot of pieces off of the Yeezy website too. So for me, I would say the first thing that you should do is put in a raffle for the Adidas app. And then after that, just for a safe bet to try to get it off of the Yeezy website. The Adidas website has never been a win for me. So your best bet, I would say, is the Adidas app. And then after that, just for a safe bet, going on the Yeezy website. Those have been winners for me in gaining Yeezy shoes. Also, the day of the drop, make sure you're using different internet sources. I mean, I'm using everything to make sure I obtain that bag, okay? I'm using my phone, I'm using my laptop, I'm using an iPad. You never know your place in line for each different ones. And because people are like dropping out, they're not, you know, they wait for like 20 minutes and they're over it, so they cancel out. You never know which one is gonna be a win. If you have different windows up under Google Chrome, um, under your iPhone, under your you know, iPad, I would just say use every resource that you can. Now make sure you're not getting flustered with so many windows that are open that you're not keeping up with them because you have to go back and forth. But I will say just for like a good start, make sure you have one open on your iPad, one open on your phone, one open on your laptop. Use all those resources to make sure you get those easy shoes that you want. Also, set an alarm clock. Yeezy is very on time with their drops. They have those time drops, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., especially Yeezy Supply. What I usually do is set an alarm clock for five minutes before Yeezy drop. I never do it like at that moment because you gotta get yourself together. I really make sure that I give myself five minutes to get myself together and I'm steady looking at the clock so that when 10 o'clock hits, I'm right there on that website. I'm right there in line. I'm the first person or um, at 9 a.m if I'm doing Adidas app I'm right there um but for me 10 a.m Yeezy at um Yeezy website has been my go-to so I make sure I set that alarm clock for 9 55 I'm right there ready for when that drop goes live do not refresh your screen that is another tip that I have for you guys I know that you are like so anxious and you don't know if it's working or if the shoes are sold out because it's a steady line wait but my number one top thing that have won me shoes if I have done it from Yeezy is not refreshing my screen and then when it's my turn I get the shoes do not refresh your screen now if you're waiting for like two hours or an hour and a half nine times out of ten those shoes have already sold out you're just waiting on you know a never-ending waiting line but I will say don't refresh your screen after like 10 or 15 minutes, okay? Just give it time and also make sure you're looking at Twitter too. There are a lot of influencers or there's a lot of people, just normal people that are tweeting about if they got those easy drops or not. So what you can do is like look up the hashtag Yeezy shoes or the Yeezy, um, you know, the the, that style number that's coming out and look at that hashtag and then from there you can see like if people posted that it's sold out or not and then from there you can really decide if you can refresh it or just exit out but my thing is do not refresh the screen unless you get that you know it's sold out you know from twitter from instagram from yeezy when they put it on the screen do not refresh until you get that as I said before, that you can get Yeezys from online boutiques in person. And from those, those are mostly raffles. If you're going the raffle way, I know a lot of people that have won those raffles just simply from going through low-key boutique areas that a lot of people don't shop at. So if you're in, like say for instance, I'm in Maryland. I know a lot of people that travel out to Southern Maryland to get those Yeezy shoes because they don't have a lot of customers uh, there that shop it. So the one there 
it's not a lot so they're able to copy it much easier rather than if I like go to DC or Georgetown to get the shoes you know they're automatically going to sell out and it's going to be a line so if you're going to online boutique way make sure that you travel out to where it's a lot more low-key a lot of people don't shop there for their shoes and you have a better chance at getting those raffle shoes the last tip I have to give with getting Yeezy shoes even before the drop make sure you know your sizing Yeezy has particular sizing it is not your standard shoe size that you wear every day it's usually a size down and for me I wear a 10 in women's so I would get a 9 in Yeezys but lately I don't know what it's been maybe it's just like how um, like a rechange of design of the shoe but I've even gone down to like an eight and a half um, so make sure you know the shoe size before you um, buy it you know it's not the best ideal situation because with easy you can't try on the shoes before but I will say if you go to a lot like if you go to a resale boutique in your area and just simply go there and try on a pair of Yeezys then you can really see what shoes you wear that preps you for that time when they have the release and you already know what size you wear so if you're not able to score Yeezys I do have a tip for you guys make sure you hit up those resale sites so for me I the first place that I go if I'm in interested in buying Yeezys like when I was not getting them it was just hard for me to get them at that point in time I opted for the resale boutiques and in um, I'm located again in the DMV area and we have a resale boutique called Shop Bless in Tyson's Corner if you've seen my past videos you know that that's like one of my favorite boutiques to shop at um, just to get some street style urban pieces but they have a huge collection of Yeezys there a lot of people go there to resell their Yeezys once they buy them um, and they again like that is the best option if you're in the DMV area they also sell them online too so you I'll make sure I'll plug their Instagram account so if you want to follow them you can but they um sell their Yeezys online and they sell them in stores. I love them. They're so cool there. They um if you want to go there and try them on, you can. And also, I will say in the um for Black Friday and Christmas time, they have Yeezys on sale during that time too. So if you're wanting to get them, um, if you know that the resale price is a little bit more expensive and you want to get them a little bit more cheaper, you can wait till Black Friday. And the sizes that they have, they will sometimes give away those good deals for Black Friday. Um, I was very close to getting a pair of Yeezys for Black Friday um, from their sale, but I ended up getting the all black ones, which I wanted badly. Like that was the last pair that I went to close out my collection, but I got the all black ones um, that Black Friday. And I was like, okay, well then I don't need to buy the discounted ones off of Shop Bless. But if you're interested in getting, you know, that if you're just wanting Yeezys like 100%, go the resale route, look at shop bless first and then also you can check out grilled everyone knows grilled is a popular resale site it's mostly for men but i go there too they do have like some female options too but i go there for anything street style anything like t-shirts like supreme a lot of the known brands raf uh uh what else um i i can't even think of none but of course they have yeezy on there so you can copy your pieces there so I hope this video was super helpful. Again, as I told you guys, I'm not in the market to get Yeezys right now. I think they're just coming out a little bit too fast for me. And um, there's so many other designs that I just want to invest my money right now in other different unique shoes. But um, Yeezys are so much easier to obtain right now than they were before as, you know, Kanye released Yeezys he had that particular strategy in mind to do limited quantity drops just to kind of do the hype beast type releases so you put out that one just like Supreme and um Kanye and Adidas have made uh that point I think since like 2015 that now they want to make Yeezys available for every customer so it's very much a little bit more easier to do um to get Yeezys now especially because they're doing like so many different drops so many different variations they're even dropping a lot of the past shoes that they have um there are a little bit more Yeezys that haven't been released and of course those resale prices are like steady up but um getting Yeezy should not be as hard as it was like a couple of years ago it's very much easy now um but I hope this video was just helpful for you let me know in the comments what pair of Yeezys you're looking forward to um what I think if Kanye comes out with the um 
shoot it, it's not the desert boots i think if yeezy ever comes out with the 950s again i that would be like the only yeezy pair that i would get because i love those boots like i'm so mad that Kanye won't put out another variation the desert boots are amazing but i just love like the highness of the 950s and like those were fire those were fire okay those were like those are like coachella type boots like concert boots and i want to wear them to a concert so bad so i think those are the only yeezys that i would ever get again but for me i think i'm good on Ye well let me not say i'm good because you never know if you put out like a fire one i might get it again but right now i'm like cool off yeezys i got the triple whites for me and the black ones and i wear a lot of black and white so for me that's enough for my closet um and i have again the 300s which are black um i'm trying to think if i have any more no those are that's all i have um and again i'm not like a yeezy collector i'm not but i will buy them and resell them like 100 percent, which i've done in the past and it's to the point where i've even thought about you know keeping them but it's just something about the white um the white soles that i just don't want really um but i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you are interested in copy yeezys again make sure you put at the bottoms which ones that you would like to get if there's any more information that you need about yeezys please hit up my comments too i'll try to answer them as best as possible but again i hope this is such a helpful video in getting the shoes that you want and if you do cut yeezys because of this video please tag me on instagram and let me know that you did follow me on instagram at nicole jack and again this is my yeezy roundup videos i pray that you're living your best kanye mood life okay again thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe also to this video and i will see you guys in another video bye